So let's just do another example of using the projection operator to visualize normal mode. So let's do methane. Methane, again, we've gone over this almost a dozen times now, right? The, the normal modes for methane are A1 plus E plus 2T2. We know we have two stretches. Uh, we calculated that earlier in the chapter using the stationary bond representation. Those were A1 plus T2. And then E and the other T2 is what's left over, so those are bends. And here's the definition of the uh, projection operator. All right, so uh, we're gonna set up, let's do stretches first. We're gonna set up our four uh, symmetry coordinates. Those are gonna be changes in bond lengths or stretches. Label them delta L1 through delta L4. And we pull up the part of the TD character table. All I really need here is A1 and A2 because those are the only stretches that are involved. Let's do the A1 stretch first. Now remember, this is across all symmetry operations. So you have, you have five classes, but you have one plus eight plus three plus six plus six. You have 24 symmetry operations. So there's gonna be 24 um, terms in this uh, product, which is you know, quite annoying, but that's just the way it is. Uh, and I'll show you the good news in a second is that once you calculate one of these, it's very easy to calculate the other one. So uh, we have to do an identity operation on um, delta L1. And this is a great problem, by the way. It requires a lot of visualization and is good for using a model. And so um, this is a great one to come to class and get help on visualizing it so we can do it together. Under non-COVID times, we would always break up into groups and do this problem together uh, because it can be kind of tricky to visualize. But uh, we're going to do uh, uh, an E, an identity on L1. So an identity on L1, again, you only have to do this on one of the symmetry uh, coordinates, so we're just gonna use L1. So uh, identity on L1 obviously goes back to L1. And where did these ones come from? The one came from, because it's A1. Notice that there's ones all across the board, because it's one, 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 but 24 ones. The first one comes from this one. The, the next eight ones come from this one, right? Because there's eight symmetry operations. The next three come from uh, this one, okay? But anyway, now we're gonna do a C3. Now there's eight different C3s. So you have to identify all eight C3s. And, and that can be a little bit challenging, especially when you first, when you're used to not having to identify the individual symmetry operations instead of just identifying one of the operations in the class. You know, so that's why, again, you really should be using a model um, for this. but. We are going to do a C3. So, um, and I have to keep track of what C3s I, I use. So it looks like the first C3, I defined it as this one, okay? And so I'm rotating it around here. And again, I could use any C3, it doesn't matter what order I do this in, but I defined uh, the first C3, again, there's um, eight of them, as being this one. So uh, a C3, in that one is going to be, uh, that'll rotate the bottom hydrogens, and those are all interchanged, but this delta L1, I'm rotating through it, so that's not gonna change. So that's why I have L1 here, okay? Next, um, I'm going to move on to a C32. C3 twice, that's in the same class, um, through the same axis, again, rotating through the same axis, that's not gonna change L1, so that's gonna get me one times L1, get me L1. All right, and now we have to start going towards uh, other, other um, C3s, okay? So we're going to do uh, a C3 through um, some other point, and so, uh, for example, if we do this one, it doesn't really matter if you're thinking about this clockwise or counterclockwise. The symmetry of everything will end up being that everything will cancel out. So I'm just kind of going to think whatever comes to my brain first. I drew one through here, and I'm just trying to match it with what I wrote down on the answers so that you know it's consistent so you can follow it. 
But so if we go through this carbon hydrogen bond and we do a rotation, right? Um, it's going to go that way. Like that would be clockwise. So clockwise, it would bring this L1 down into this bond. So L1 would go to L3. That's what we have in L3 here. And then we're going to do um, uh, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to do uh, another one here, um, L4. And so again, the exact order that you do all these doesn't matter, but that could be basically rotating. Um, it could be like one of these, right? So that would rotate L1 down into L4. So that's your L4. L2, uh, you can see this one got L2. It's, it's another C3. So that would be doing it maybe two times, getting it to L2. And then you would get another L4 for the other axis. So, you know, it's a lot of working through this. Um, and, you know, the honest thing is me drawing it out on a lecture slide in two dimensions here is not going to be that useful compared to you doing a model. Um, and so you can work, we can work through all these. Please just stop this video and, and try to build a model and work on it or go on Otterbein. Um, if you're having trouble, let's just do this in class. I mean, that's really the, the best thing to do it. All, at this point, once you get all these, you will get six plus six plus six plus six. And that will reduce to, um, if you divide by six, to delta L1 plus delta L2 plus delta L3 plus delta L4. There's a couple of tricks here. One is you know the answer ahead of time. Because it's an A1 stretch, you know it's totally symmetric. So you know in the end you're going to get one, 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 one. If you don't, you did something wrong. There's also certain patterns in this that you'll start to see emerge because it's a very symmetrical system. I mean, that's the beauty of working with symmetry. Now, the other stretch is a T2 stretch. And the good news here is all of, all of the work, the hard work of making all these operations, of seeing how all these operations transform, stay the same. In other words, look, you have L1, L2, L3, L4, L4, L3 to start out. All those numbers are the same. You have L1, okay. So um, all you have to do here is, uh, then there's some zeros, so those go away, but look, L1, uh, L1, 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 um, Anyway, I skipped the zeros. But the, the key point is that all of the, um, all of the, these, this, this portion, okay, is the same all across the board, right, in the formula. So if we go back, right, all of these, all the hard work of doing the operations is the same. The only thing that changes is the coefficients in the beginning. And the coefficients in the beginning are dictated by the character, so T2. So we have three, three, right? We have zero for eight of them, because there's eight C3s. Then we have a negative one, and there's three of them. So we have negative one for C2s. So that's where all that comes from. And if you do all this, you're gonna get um, six delta L1 minus two delta L2, minus two delta L3 minus two delta L4, divide that by two to reduce it. You get three delta L1 minus the other ones. So what does that mean? This is an asymmetric stretch it means that L1, however you define L1, that's gonna move three times. It's gonna move really fast in one direction. And then the other bonds are gonna go in the opposite direction, i.e. they're gonna contract if the other one, if L1 elongated, but a third, a, a third of the rate. So I don't have four hands, so I can't really do this easily. But you know, you're gonna get L1 going up really fast, and then all the other ones are gonna go up third of slowly in the opposite direction. And so you can kind of see that here. There's actually um, three of them, right? And sorry, this is laggy. But uh, one of these is moving three times as fast as the other. And there's three of them uh, uh, because this is a triply degenerate thing. So although which atoms are moving and elongating and contracting are different, um, they're all degenerate. They're all similar. They have the same symmetry.